just this underlying pervasive feeling that everything that I'm looking at is actually myself. What is the body once I, I have understood that I am not the body? When we start the spiritual path, m many, many people, if not most, are, are wanting to be free of something, free of their humanness, free of suffering, free of whatever it is. But the discovery, at least as it seems to reveal itself here, is eventually we come back to, it's not about being free, and free from life, it's about being free to experience this life however, in all those dimensions. And some are, are beautiful, and some are quite challenging. What really happened was that part of me died in that moment. There's no better way of saying it. That child actually died because it was too overwhelming. It was too much pain, but you cannot refuse to accept the reality. There's been a phase which was very much about the awakening of the heart, coming to the recognition of the universal consciousness, and within that, the complete unity with God. Being Deepak is less and less Deepak. One of the habits of the old story that has taken me a lot of uh, time to heal from is the habit of being right. I used to be very easily drawn into maybe a defensive posture, or at least trying to prove myself right. They're just layers of feelings and sensations. There was never anybody living there in the first place. There was never anybody living in a sensation or a feeling. But it's only through that for me to deeply, deeply loving myself, that I can realize that there is no me. Everything is simultaneously co-arising. This entity and the entity I'm speaking to, the people who are watching. With the coming together of everything, it's like the appearance of the void realization and the heart realization is coming deeply into my human. There's no refusal of the moment, and that's the freedom. The greatest beauty of all of that is actually the human being living its intimacy with everything. Love is the anchor. It's a sweetness which, um, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it. You can't really talk about love, you, you know love. Something is being born out of this cosmic womb every moment. It's a big mystery. It could be that our power to conceive and understand and make meaning will always, always fall short of reality. We have all these ideas of what it's like to wake up to our true nature. It's just, it's just coming back, you know, a cup of tea, a conversation at lunchtime. It, it, it's, it's nothing extraordinary except the extraordinary is constantly here in the ordinary. We become whole again, and we realize who we are. They're not robots, they're not machines, not computers, but there's something else. What is it? Well, I don't know. I think each of us has to discover. That this reality was not born and will not die, and that we can actually explore that in our direct experience. Once we really do that as a community of people, and hopefully bigger and bigger, then there is a paradigm shift, because our culture does not live according to that. Sitting in the silence, the heart comes alive 
and there's just love.